And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back with episode 4 of The Long Dark. So, if you joined me in the last episode, we ran to the shack to recover some uh, condition because we were starting to get cold. Storm looked like it was coming in. I just slept off camera for 4 hours and uh, we found some pretty decent loot in there, so. I'm going to try and get back up to a decent level and we're going to get her head out now our original objective was to try and get to the ranger observation tower which is in this area there's a deer over there what, since we've got 8 hours and this is the closest settlement here we're actually going to go over to this frozen lake uh, frozen lake this frozen pond po pond or pond, I don't know how it, which, however you want to say it, I say it pond. I don't know why I decided to say it pond. But, um, I'm gonna go over here. Because sometimes you can find arrows and more rifle ammo up here. So, plus you sometimes find a corpse. Uh, there's two walls there. I'll equip a flare. I don't really want to use another flare because this is the last one. I can also find think ah oh, crap piss off yeah there's these rishi mushrooms so we'll harvest what we can for the duration of the flare yeah broken arrow Coming handy later. Simple tools, very useful. Okay, I think we looted what we can. We'll head back to the hut. But actually, it feels fairly warm out. It's zero degrees, so while we have this chance, we're not going to go back to the hut. We're going to loop round and try and make it to the ranger station hut while the flare is still active. While the weather is good, because we need we need good weather. <coughs> Okay, I don't see anything major. I see more rabbits, so this is another location we could put snares down and stay in relative close proximity. I think I'm definitely going the right way.
Yeah, that's a dead fall clearing. Or a dead fall area. Ah, uh, another bleeding wolf. I'm gonna scare this one away. Clear cut. What is that? I don't remember that. Is that just a sign? Yeah, it's a sign, but... Another bleeding wolf. Piss off. I'll try and get... flares out. So let's head straight to the top. Because I don't want to be around when that wolf... The hide in the gut will last a little while, even while frozen. But it's not... We already have about three hides back at the outpost of the Canadian sh uh, Rangers shack, as well as uh, six pairs of guts, so we're decent for that. Sometimes you have to make a sacrifice, but other times you don't, and you have to just hope for the best. That was... it was difficult to say. If we do get into an encounter, we're gonna have to go hand to hand. Have a down vest. Not the greatest thing in the world, to be honest. I'll probably just shred it. <coughs> I have to be careful because sometimes there is a wolf that spawns up here. I'm hoping. Just this one, so it doesn't. We're hungry, we're starting to get tired. But yeah, back there when I said that I didn't know what that was, I've, it looked like they changed the texture on the sign. Which is what perplexed me, because I don't remember anything being that yellow. Okay, we'll do a quick once over around the site first before we actually go up. Because sometimes there's a corpse, there's a pack, backpack, there's some um, rose hip bushes nearby. Oh my god, another hunting rifle. It's in terrible condition, but I'll take it. We'll loot this area and then... We'll probably stay here for a little bit as well, actually. Till we can recover. Another hatchet. Can opener. Another book. We've got a ton of meat that we need to cook, so... One thing I do know, because this is... Oh, they fixed that now. Okay. Before, you were able to actually use a magnifying glass inside the tower, but they fixed it, I guess. Start a fire, we'll cook up the rest of this meat, and then um, we'll try and we'll try and keep going. We'll see where we can take us. I 
I'm hoping not to use up all this meat right now, to be honest. Yeah, it's starting to go foggy, so... We'll cook what we can. I'll try and get it down to an hour, and then I'll probably s uh, hack something up for reclaimed wood. Uh, what can we do? It won't take too much. This will give us two. This will give us three. Gonna try and cook as much as we can. over encumbered but that's only because of how much meat we have on us right now and what I would do in real life in this situation if I had this much meat on me I would eat the meat first absolutely eat the meat first because if I don't have any preservation method I'm gonna just eat, eat the meat I'd rather eat the meat than uh, eat canned food or anything else because it's also a morale booster as well. Okay, I have some water. It's always best as well to look through the meat and see what one isn't at the one kilogram. If it isn't a one kilogram, eat that first because that's it provides less calories. So we're going to actually try and get to a full kilo calorific meter. Not all the way, but some way. I'm gonna take a torch. Put that out. Break down some more wood. And we're gonna go to bed. Dehydrated, we're hungry. Drink more water. Okay, so we're not enough full there. We're still encumbered by 35, so it is definitely the meat that we're carrying here. What I will do is to use up some time. I'm going to use up the rest of that rifle cleaning kit on this rifle. That'll boost our skill up a little bit more. ruined rifle cleaning kit and that's automatically dropped anyway it's been broken beyond repair so it's up to 44 we have one bullet sharpen mm, okay can opener First aid kit is broken there. Gonna light a torch and we're gonna head down. We 
We have plenty of food since that wolf kindly killed a, fr a fresh deer. And we just scared it off before we could eat up, eat the rest of it. We're gonna go down here, and there, I know there's a few more buildings left to check. I'm gonna check those buildings, see what we can find, if there's any good clothes in, because that's what we need right now, is we need a decent set of clothes. And the only other option is to wait out a few days so that we can craft some clothes, so that the deer hide that we've collected is sufficient enough to, um, just, just collect, really. I'll double check that um, deer down below and see if that's decent enough to salvage anything, whether it's gut or whether it's hide. Um, uh, even though it's frozen, there's still a possibility of salvaging something of it. So. We're going to see if we can salvage anything off this deer, and then move forward. See any walls? Not yet, anyway. Okay. What's our torch? at 12% condition, so we'll continue along. Should last us enough until we can get to those cabins. This cabin shouldn't be too far away from here. Clear cut. So we now have a second hunting rifle, but we still won't use it yet. I want to save as much ammo as possible. You know, there's something about this game as well, which I'm surprised they haven't added yet. It's just simple stuff like heat packs and thermos flasks. You know, stuff you typically find in the Canadian wilderness. Like, this, because this is what people would bring in the Canadian wilderness. As well as just random junk items, miscellaneous items, which um, reminds people of a different home, or where they worked, or where they worked, where they lived, sort of thing. Because some people, they don't... What is that? That's a deer. I thought it was a wolf then, it was just rendering into view. Um, but yeah, it's like different survival items, I suppose. Not even necessarily survival, just something that you'd have in a cold. Okay, we should be close by now. Okay, we're freezing. Gotta try and find... I'm pretty sure it's around this corner. I hear crows, so that must mean I'm close. Yeah, up there. Yeah, there's a corpse up there. Don't know what it is, whether it's a, a deer, a ravaged deer carcass or whether it's a human corpse, I don't know. 
I'm hoping we don't run into a wolf here because I have nothing to def well, I do have something to defend myself but I don't really want to defend myself against a wolf let's check out this area first I think there's a Ugh. There's a stove top here, and there's rose hips. Yep. So we got that, another fire log, rifle round. Start a fire, and try and get that going. warm ourselves up a bit before we head into one of the um, huts. I'm trying to condense these episodes down to 30 minute chunks as well, so... Um, okay... We'll heat these up. That way we can get a food bonus and a heat bonus. How are we doing? I'll drink one of these fructose syrups. Fructose syrups, uh, sodas. Uh, fire log. Suppose we could do this. Grab a torch and carry on. Let's do this one. No, we'll do a close one first and then loop around. And see what's in here. Ooh, another flare. Reclaimed wood. Plenty of supplies. Old bedroll. We can cut those up for cloth. Which I'm not sure whether or not I should do or not. Because we're already pretty heavy. But having plenty of cough cloth means that we'll um, be able to do a lot more repairs. Cloth doesn't really weigh that much. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Okay, let's see what's in here. Down ski jacket. Tomato soup, summit soda, anything in here, anything under the beds, nope, uh, another storm lantern, newsprint, pillow and old bed row, bed, bed row, bed roll, I can't speak. Two pillows and an old bed bedroll. Well, we're gonna cut all this up and take it with us. Shouldn't be that heavy. Two kil t t bleh, two kilos.
can't sprint because they're too heavy. So this might be a bit of a trek. And we still have one house left to check, or uh, one hut left to check. I might actually just check my condition of my stuff. Repair what I can with what I got. Cotton socks. Could do with uh, wool socks, but oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna because I've only got about five minutes left before I have to end the episode. I'm actually going to go through and see what I can scavenge and what I can tear up. So we'll harvest that, because that's one of the worst vests in the game. Down ski jacket, down for designed to keep but minimal wind blocking capability. So this is better than this. Okay. Don't want to harvest that. Um, cotton socks, took. Harvest the down winter ver uh, down jacket. We'll basically harvest most of our clothes that we found because they're all in pretty bad condition. Our current clothes are in better condition and they're pretty much the same as what we already have. I will keep that though and repair it because I want to see if there's actually a difference. Where are those? Harvest them. Let's get to repairing. Okay. Okay, so that's a hundred percent. So that's plus two clothing warmth bonus and plus one windshield bonus. Whereas this is plus three warmth bonus and plus two windshield, so it's vastly superior. Um, let's work on repairing everything else. We might be able to use up a sewing kit as well if um, we manage to get that far. Yeah, since we have plenty of cloth as is, I'm going to try and repair all of it in the hopes of reducing weight a little bit more, so that we can at least sprint. Um, hmm. I need more scrap metal, personally, and I don't know whether or not to harvest something. Harvest scrap metal. I do have two, and simple tools are quite common, so actions harvest into a stick. That has a lot of kerosene in it, this one doesn't. Hmm. You know what, I'm going to harvest this. So I have enough to repair some items. We have three hatchets and I'm not going to get rid of them because they'll actually come in handy quite a lot. Broken arrow, we'll harvest that so we can get some crow feathers and an arrowhead. And with that I'm afraid I'm going to have to uh, end the episode. So on the next episode we're going to take all this stuff back to our original base, and then we'll work on our next move. Until then, ta-ta!